But still, old and treacherous. It's like, you know, what do you think? That, you know, people in their 50s, 60s, 70s, sometimes 80s, what, they, they belong in a nursing home? Hell no, they can raise much hell, even more hell than the youngins can. wonder uh, how long that guy lived that was a member of the retreads that was eight years old some years ago that kicked my ass and he was on a gold wing I just wonder what I, how long he lived he might have gone to damn near a hundred well he'd been He'd been riding all his whole life. He's, you know, he had a a, ni a 1936 knucklehead, which was all original that he bought when he was a young guy. And I think I've seen that at motorcycle shows, but I can't be sure. But I, I just wonder what you know, how long he lived, because like uh, like he like I said he. I got behind him that day, and you know, we weren't allowed to act up or ride with the main group, but I, I got behind him, because we weren't old enough, you know. All those guys are dead now, but. And I said, ah, oh, man. We were on twi we were getting ready to go to some twisties, and I said, this guy's gonna fuck up my ride. <laughs> no, he fucked up my day. He, I couldn't stay with him. <laughs> 80 years old, on a gold wing. Whipped my ass, whipped my ass through the turns. <laughs> you want to talk about showing someone reality? <laughs> I mean, he wasn't crazy. It's just his experience, and knowing the lines and knowing the limits of his bike, and he knew that he was going to show me something. But I mean. He was perfectly safe in what he was doing. And I was, I mean, he put me in my place. I never got wise with him or anything, but it's just that he saw <coughs> a young snot that needed a lesson. And boy, did I get one. Well, this is what I'm saying. I mean, there he was, old man, wouldn't think he was gonna do it. And yeah, <laughs> age and treachery. <laughs>